Hey, what's up, Team Hydra? It's OGCP Da Silva, and welcome to a solo double DNA bomb with the ASM1 by Hydra Good. This is an insane gameplay that I personally wouldn't be able to get because, quite frankly, I don't have the patience or the skill to be able to pull off a beast gameplay like this. But hopefully, you guys are able to witness the magic that some of these pub stompers are able to unleash on their enemies here and. Hopefully you guys enjoy that in the background. What I want to talk to you guys about today is the DLC that Sledgehammer is going to be releasing soon and why I am not going to be supporting them by buying it. Now personally, here are some of the reasons why I am not going to be getting it. Number one, skill based matchmaking. Now skill based matchmaking has been a growing issue with the release of Advanced Warfare. Not so much for the fact that you're playing with people of similar skill to you and you're not able to get these beast gameplays that you were before in previous Call of Duties, but because of the connections. They've been at a risk because of skill based matchmaking and here's why. When you're on a peer to peer connection, you're being paired with people from across the globe and that puts connection at a risk because you're not playing with people so much in your local area or even in your country you're being paired up with people from all across the world and obviously that just makes sense that the connections are not not going to be as stable with people from all over the world or from across the pond from you whereas if you were playing people locally or regionally you know it just makes sense that way but the mere fact that Sledgehammer is saying that skill based matchmaking is not a problem, that connections are not a problem, is something that has been very ignorant of them, you know, and I don't think that they should deserve the support from us if they're not going to acknowledge the fact that it's a problem. Another thing that's a problem besides skill based matchmaking and the connections is the fact that the weapons in this game are not balanced one bit. This game is dominated by the ASM1s, the BALs the HBAR and some other weapons out there and these specific guns are the ones that are going to do well for you there are other guns in this game that just obviously are hit marker machines they don't do anything at all to get you kills and they're just there to I don't know look pretty or something they're not there to do work there are only certain guns in this game that really help you to do well and I don't think a game should be that way because it doesn't encourage you to use other weapons on YouTube and when you're playing in these lobbies there's only certain weapons that you see that people are able to get beast gameplays with and I think that's a problem and honestly the fact that Sledgehammer hasn't addressed this hasn't made a patch or a workaround to be able to fix this issue is another reason why I don't think Sledgehammer deserves our support but let me know again what you guys think uh, what are your comments regarding this issue are you going to be buying the DLC do you think it's worth it to be able to support Sledgehammer if there are problems existing in this game months after the release of this game that haven't been addressed but let me know all of that in the comment section below thank you guys all for watching I'll catch you guys next time this is OGCP Da Silva gameplay was provided by Hydra Good and I am signing off